Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading. Welcome to 2020 January and Happy New Year to all of you. So, um, I meditated on your energy and what Spirit wants to talk to you about for this month. That's my first row on top here. So, I have the Eight of Swords, the first card that came out. So that tells me that you might be in the beginning of the month or in the month of December. A bit stuck in a situation where you don't know what your next move should be. Where should I go from now? And what's my next move? I can't do that because of that. And, and that is like that overthinking, analysis, paralysis kind of situation. But then... Here, three cards came together. I have the Page of Cup, the Ace of Cup, and the World. So it's like if you're receiving a news, or um, there's this information coming in that uh, enables you to receive um, a whole new cup filled with possibilities and that actually closes that cycle where you were stuck in before and after that the magician the alchemist putting you right in your power and that tells me that for that whatever you wanted to manifest there was uh, because to manifest here the alchemist we need our four elements to be upright and at their uh, best so our mind has to be completely clear we have to be completely grounded here and now and have what it takes to invest in the sense of ourselves our senses our time we need our cup to be upright or big enough to receive that means that we have to open our heart to receive inspiration because that can be an inspiration it can be like an idea that's going to give us emotional fulfillment and all of that. And our will has to be aligned. So, whatever it is, you're able to finish that cycle because you are receiving that cup, that ace of cup. That news that will bring you serenity and peace. It is can be somebody presenting you with something that you would love finally it has full of possibilities in it and that puts you in your power of the alchemist under here are being stuck there i have the king of uh, cups so that's you and i have judgment so there's an awakening here there's like a hey you know there's um it can also be something from the past that comes back. An understanding of something of the past also. And we're going to clarify. Under our world and our Ace of Cup, I have the Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. So, Page of Swords. Trying to understand, to see, to learn about... Um, that maybe brings conflict or about a conflict. And it is that conflict that maybe put you in the Eight of Swords before where you couldn't, you didn't know where to act because maybe in a way, uh, if I do this, these people will not be happy or these people do not agree, whatever. And then after... Under our alchemist, I have the chariot, which is movement forward once we are aligned. So maybe this is like discovering our truth. No, this is the direction I want to go. And that is going to shut up any discussion of conflict or I'm doing this over the petty conflicts. Here, under being stuck, I have here that understanding that here you're carrying over uh, maybe to undo conflicts and things like that and that understanding marks ten of sword the end of that period where you were stuck maybe stuck in a situation stuck it for some of you that can be also 
um, physical because the four of um, the four of ones yes it's our home it's it can be um, also our body a home can be a body the body uh, that holds our soul uh, it's that um, um, celebration re-enjoyment uh, capacity to rejoy and to build something happy with others all of that there's the end of that cycle where you felt stuck because you understand something and that puts you into the fool so we have the world with our ace of cup here that understanding we're carrying with the our page here because we got that awakening that understanding and that puts us in the full and at the end I have here the strength and the ten of pentacle so maybe uh, manifesting something uh, that maybe is going to take you courage but that is going to be solid maybe a family, maybe an enterprise, but something that is going to be uh, assuring um, financial stability for some of you, or just that stability, a home that can be passed from one generation to another. It can be, because it could be a home per se, not knowing maybe some of you are in changing homes, changing locations, and that finally, you're receiving a news where all that anxiety of where am I going to go is finally going to be finished. That can be the case for some of you. For others of you, it could be about a relationship and things like that. We're going to clarify. For Pisces. Pisces. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Pisces. Help me clarify this reading for Pisces. Okay. Eight of Swords. Why were you in the Eight of Swords? Pisces, Eight of Swords. Why? Why the Eight of Swords, Spirit? Why the Eight of Swords? Pisces. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, like we have here. So yes, being stuck, but that's the end of it. The end of that mental anxiety that... Uh, at one point you're like okay this is not this is not my real I can't take more than this this is not my reality uh, something's got to give something's got to change what is that page of uh, cups because we have page of cups ace of cups and then the world so there's really that a new ace of cup being offered by somebody yeah there's our page of uh, swords like here under so you're receiving news uh, that is really going to touch your heart and and bring you that whole new peace emotional peace and uh, love so at that point you're able to manifest what you truly want what is that ace of uh, ace of cups when I say receiving news it doesn't have to be somebody uh, actually coming towards you and hey you know what blah 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 it can be falling on a documentary falling on something on YouTube, falling on um, uh, a neighbor you haven't said for, uh, seen for a long time or somebody and they tell you something that triggers something inside of you that uh, makes you understand something because whatever that is uh, or just tells you uh, hey, uh, remember so and so uh, they're back in town, I saw them, whatever, and that will lead to um, 
Ace of uh, Cups, Wheel of Fortune. So you see how this truly transforms your circumstances, your understanding something may be about yourself also. This can be over-criticizing oneself. And this is finally understanding that, no, I have a, a enormous possibility. I am opening myself and loving, appreciating myself even more. And that is uh, moving the wheel of fortune to put you in your power to create uh, whatever you want to create here that is solid and stable. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, that can be a lot of over self criticizing. Show me the world. Show me the world for Pisces. Ah, see, yeah, we have the Ten of Cups, which is the end of a cycle, which is normal to have the world with, and the Page of Cup. So, whatever you were before, here, at the beginning of the month or in the month of December, by receiving that extra cup, you're changing cycles of cups. So, your maximum that you have hit in your capacity to feel love and emotional abundance that can be shared and all of that your ten of cups and uh, now you're going to go to a new level the more conscious we are the richer the emotions we live our ten of cups when we were 12 is not the same as when we're 20 and so on because we are more and more conscious so here there's that uh, transition happening right here from your being stuck here or maybe over criticizing yourself and now finally seeing your worth and your value and absorbing that love from the universe for yourself will change your reality completely or it is from somebody else one or the other the alchemist the alchemist. Ah, yeah, maybe, see, maybe you felt left out in the cold before. Maybe you felt you weren't good enough. Maybe you felt like uh, you didn't deserve, uh, in a sense. And that what was blocking you and, and brought you to the Ten of Swords. This is a tricky belief here. And it's good to uh, change that. And that will come from the balancing of your heart chakra. Six of uh, cups. Yeah. You're kind of understanding something in the month of January, Pisces. Where you will open up your heart, rise the vibration of your heart chakra. And uh, giving you the capacity to manifest not from a place of lack, you're finishing that cycle, but from a balanced heart chakra. Show me the judgment here. You're getting a judgment. You're getting an understanding. Uh, yeah, well, because, see, we have our five of uh, wands here, and we have the nine of wands. So, that judgment is about all of the conflicted energies that were maybe inside of you or outside of you uh, because of the past wounds that you had and the past pains that you had. Uh, and nine, <coughs> nine of Wands <coughs> with the King of Cups, that means it's your active masculine side. So how you actually act out there uh, that affected that. You're getting the understanding of where the conflict came and also uh, maybe having contradictions around you 
uh, that that made it like oh my god I can't do this because you know these people are going to be against it or whatever but whatever it was you were kind of stuck in a small environment that you needed to get out of and you're finally getting that uh, judgment that uh, this is when the angels trumpet in our ear and bring us back to life I reactivate us show me that princess of sword what is that on the five of five of wands some of you that conflict is outside of you and for others of you it is inside of you here I have the world again there I have uh, the lovers and the two of cups so that could be uh, getting news from somebody that and that helps us from which we were maybe super conflicted about afraid to make a move um, mm, putting us in a jail out of our own head and fears we're getting a news about that connection that finishes that cycle so we can make that choice to elevate ourselves. This is going to crumble your jail, like being swept off our feet there, being um, completely uh, shocked. Chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Because you're finally moving forward. Now that you have all of your power. Or you're deciding to take all of your power. Three of uh, wands. It's after a decision. Now you're moving forward to make the moves. And finally receiving your due. Changing the expectations you have in life. Here, what is that truth that you understand? Ace of Sword. Because we have the Ace of Sword and the Ten of Swords again, twice here. Really finishing a cycle of the mind. Cycle of the way we think, we see reality, we grasp reality. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a lot, but... Okay. Ace of Sword, Ace of Pentacle. So here, what is being offered is probably something very solid and, and real. Ace of Pentacle. I have the Devil. What do you understand? High Priestess, Magician, and Temperance. That is three major arcanas here. No, four major arcanas. That is a lot. So we're repeating the magician. You're understanding that you need to grab the opportunity for you to be able to manifest or what uh, you can manifest. You understand here temperance. There's a maturing of your emotions. High priestess. There's this inner understanding based on spirituality. The devil. You understand how this jail was just an illusion from your beliefs. That's why you're finishing that cycle. You have matured and you are willing now to take a chance into life, into this thing, because you are master of what you are manifesting. And by blocking yourself out of fears like this, this was keeping you here, keeping you under his thing but that's the end of that here fool it's like you recognize your fears but you're deciding not to act from them but from a higher space
So here I have the seven, eight, the eight of uh, pentacle. Here's our eight of swords again, but with the knight of cups. See that cup that wants to bring forward. It's like almost, for some of you, it's like, oh my God, this is what I love. This is what I really brings my, me uh, inspiration, emotional satisfaction. This is what I love. And then at one point you're like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to invest in this. I understand now that if I just listen to what others say and I keep myself blocking myself with all those self-doubt or self-criticizing, I will not go anywhere. So I am grabbing that Ace of Cup, that way of feeling that inspiration and that love, and I am moving forward with it. And maybe this is a new job. Maybe this is a new way, a new craft, a new something that is going to bring you back um, solid results. Here, show me the Ten of Pentacles. Because here I have strength, so that means you will not be acting from your fears, you will be acting from your higher self. And here I have two balancing uh, energies, six of sword, six of pentacle, two sixes. Six are the heart chakra and where you are going to move towards a calmer, peace part of yourself where you will be able to start receiving. So that means that it is going to be something that is not going to be leaving you left out in the cold but actually give you something because you're going to follow your heart and it is going to be a decision. A decision that, yes, you're going to have to defend yourself because I think some people around you will not agree. And here, it's going to be the end of the way that you used to do things. Now you're going to go and do what you understood and you're freeing yourself and you're putting yourself into your own power. Uh, this could be called um, following your heart. And, and not listening to uh, all that negative either self-thought or uh, opinions of others or whatever because sometimes it doesn't take much especially when it is emotional things like inspiration and uh, self-belief and things like that one word can create a lot of uh, inner chaos and and you know, stopping oneself until we actually know our worth and who we are. So you're doing this, you're choosing to follow your heart and it is going to be lucrative and it is going to be a different way of doing things. Finding your passion and following it, that's going to be your title. All right, my Pisces. So... I'm going to wish you a wonderful month of January on this and also the winner of last month. Since I'm doing this, uh, we're the 26th now, I'm going to wait till the end of the month uh, to pick the winner of last month because I'm picking out of the commentaries and to make sure that the month is really over. And I'm going to write it down below in the uh, plus section there. I'm going to write the name of the winner. Um, for the free reading um, also thank you for all your shares and comments and um, thumbs up and all of that uh, it helps the channel and it helps to grow um, uh, thank you for the donations I'm gonna do again this month uh, a special ceremony on the first on the full moon and on the new moon so that the universe can give you back and uh, also private readings all written down below and uh, the information and so on this namaste love and light and follow your heart my beautiful pisces all right
Bye-bye.